Man, some more big energy by the cheerleaders. Hey, You're let's all keep it going. Let's see if these football teams can match their cheerleaders energy out there. Let's get these games going, man. Absolutely. Let's take a look. River Road versus Shallow Water. Let's take a look at the highlights. Roll that beautiful bean footage like Ralph likes to say. Both teams two and three coming into this one. Oh, yeah. One team's going to go home happy. Fourth quarter, Mustangs down by two. And John Easley is going to bust through the middle for a 19-yard rush, rush into the end zone. River Road now. Lance Welps looking down the field and finds Shallow Waters' Mason Eaker for the interception. Not who you had in mind, though. Shallow Waters' Dylan Kelly going for it on fourth down to put this one away and finds Mason Eaker for the touchdown for the final score of the game. Shallow Water wins this one 30 to 16. All right, moving on. Mule Shoe hosting Littlefield. Littlefield didn't have a logo this week, guys. Don't you worry, but they're the Wildcats. I promise you. Uh, this right here, Daniel Stinson, the senior, taking the handoff and hitting the sideline, taking it all the way in for the six. Mule Shoe from three yards out on fourth down. Zach Has Hasley keeps it himself. Not able to get it. That's turnover on downs for the Mules. They're trying to get a score. Littlefield gets the ball again. Finding the end zone once again. They did that a lot tonight. Final score out there, shutting out Mule Shoe. Final score, Littlefield, 56 to nothing. We had another great game a few weeks ago. Stratford had an upset, a huge upset against the top team in the state. Tonight, they're on the road visiting the Clarendon Broncos. Courtney Tate was out there covering that game. Courtney, what did you see out there? Yeah, guys, it was cold out there tonight, but Stratford was just on fire. Stratford on the road visiting Clarendon, looking to clinch a big win on the road. Let's take a look at some of these highlights. Starting out the... Clarendon came out tonight trying to start on fire, but Clarendon said, Stratford said, absolutely not running back right here. Ayudin Romero gets the ball, takes off running up the right side of the field, cuts back up the middle. He doesn't stop till he gets past the goal line. Quarterback gives the ball right here to Britt McQuitty. He cuts up the middle of the Bronco defense and muscles his way into the end zone. He carries a group of defenders with him. And finally, quarterback right here, Walker McBride, he looks downfield, finds McQuitty again, carries the ball to the one-yard line. And that sets them up with this final touchdown of the half right here. Ayudin again back into the end zone, just easily walking his way. we got a final score right here. Stratford 60, Clarendon 15. How about Vega taking on Booker? We're going to see these highlights coming up in just a moment. There we go. And, you know, the Kiowas do have a, uh, a logo as well. Here we go, taking a look at the bean footage. Clay Gilter using that agility and speed to cut through the middle of the field. Takes this one all the way to the house using that 99 Madden speed rating. Then how about Vega again? Ryan Graw under with the little flip here coming up. Like his last name, under goes the ball. And to Brady Teeman, who brings it in easily to the end zone. Vega wins this one. 52 to 6, getting back into their high scoring ways. All right, up next, Highland Park visiting West Texas. West Texas have played some great football. They had a tough schedule to start things out, but they're finishing pretty strong. They had a great game tonight. Shit is out. First quarter, Avion Cruz, the handoff to Aaron DeLuna, getting into the end zone for six right there in the first quarter to go up six to nothing over Highland Park. Later on, we'll see the Hornets with a punt. This one right here is caught by Jacob Hernandez. Hernandez will catch it and work some magic. He'll see a sideline, find a seam, hit that sideline, and take it all the way to the house for 70 yards off the punt return. Some good special teams being played out there. It's Tanette up next. The next kickoff up final score. Let's check this out. West Texas, 54 versus 14. Let's check out some full screens, Courtney. All right, with some full screens right here, we have Priyana uh, losing to Childress, 27 to 7. We have Tulsa all we have Tulsa against Canadian. Canadian's gonna beat uh, Tulsa 57 to 14. We have River Road against Shallow Water. Shallow Water's gonna take the win 30 to 16. And finally we have Mule Shoe versus Littlefield. Littlefield's gonna just blow them out 54 to 0. All right, well, how about some more of these scores? Vega, like we said, 52 to 6. The Claude Mustangs falling 49 to nothing to White Deer. And the Memphis Cyclones falling 39 to 14 to the Shamrock Irish. Couple more. Quana Indians falling 50 to 6 to Wellington, one of those top teams in the state. And Wheeler, 74 to 6 over Monday. That's not it, guys. We got some 1A action. We got some uh, awards still to get out. So don't leave us. Make sure you come back and check us out. We got more stuff coming up after the break.